Jesus. Whoa. Hey guys. Uh, so, uh, wanna learn how to, uh, how to do flips and stuff, right? Well, you're in the right place. I mean, just like, look at my latest video. That shit was fire. Oh, uh, yeah, speaking of which, um, that video actually did, like, really crazy, um, and I got, like, 7,000 views in, like, um, less than a month, which is, you know, kind of insane. Um, also, Jesus Christ, a thousand subscribers? I have a thousand subscribers on YouTube? That's crazy. Pretty cool, man. So, yeah, thanks, thanks to, uh, this guy for being my thousand subscriber. Pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, before you start jumping off buildings and stuff, you need to learn the basics, you need to learn the setup. Okay, so, first things first, um, just to clear some confusion, you don't need PC and full body. It is preferred that you have at least full body. VRChat supports full body, um, via OSC, so that's, like, Slime VR, and Sony's new whatever it's called, I forget what it's called, I'll just, yeah, it's right there. Um, a lot of the stuff looks a lot better with full body, and of course... Of course, if you're doing swinging videos on PC, it's not gonna look that good. Okay, so what you'll actually need, for real, for real, is a spinny chair. Um, preferably one that reclines, um, and like space to spin it around in your room. You don't need it to spin, or while it's fully reclined, you can have it like kind of, kind of like less than 45 degrees and still spin it around. That will be, that'll, that'll work. But um, your legs need to be able to spin around, kind of, at the least. So like I said, PC and full body isn't required. It is recommended. Um, because without it, you end up looking like this. So as you can see, you're moving your head around, but your legs are staying in place, so you end up just, like, not doing anything. But from a first-person perspective, you can kind of get the sense that you're flipping. Um, it might help with an avatar that has no legs. I might make a world with avatars with just, like, arms and stuff. Um, so, you know, if you want that, let me, let me know. So, uh, how do you actually flip? Okay, so, sitting down on your chair normally, um, recline it, and it doesn't have to recline all the way, yeah, alright, um, and then you can start spinning, make sure it works, cool, so, um, the method, honestly, it kinda hurts, so you, <laughs> I'm, I'm just putting it out there, it's gonna be a little bit more physically demanding than just regular swinging, um, once you're reclined, you have to lay down across the side of the chair for most flips, but you can do some flips on your back. Um, but preferably, you would have your arms, uh, your legs, and your head dangling off the chair. So right now, you're just some random-ass dude sitting in the middle of their room, uh, just spinning around on their chair. To make sure you actually do a flip in VR chat, go into the VR chat launchpad menu while laying down sideways or whatever, and uh, click the little triangle button there, then set horizon and finally set standing height. So while you're laying down on your chair, you should see that you're standing up properly in VR chat. Okay, flips time. I'm gonna talk about the flips as my stupid little bitch ass clone over here demonstrates all the flips. Um, no mandos were hurt in the making of this video. See, uh, look how happy he is. Look at him go. The most basic flip is the side flip. You can lie on your back for this one, just recline in your chair, and then spin. As a bit of a tip, I spin by kicking off by this part of my shelf. Um, it lets me control which direction I spin in, which is pretty cool. You can kick off the ground too, or use your hand, which I do sometimes while I'm flipping. Uh, here's what it looks like with Horizon Adjust. Of course, adding extra flair is, you know, part of the fun. So, you know, sometimes I like to kick out my leg, like this, and imitate the side front tuck, which is from the PS5 game. And here's how it looks. Front flips are going to be a bit more demanding because you're actually doing a full rotation with half your body dangling off the chair. Um, so yeah, push off the ground in real life and just hope for the best, I guess. Um, I guess that's the best take we got of that. Front flips are hard, um, so I don't really like them. I don't have like a special move for them, but uh, you can take inspiration from the games and movies and stuff. Back flips are literally just the same thing, but the opposite direction, but they're a little bit easier. Backflips, uh, I slightly angle myself and hold my ankle to perform a backside stalefish. You can do a backflip while you're running off a building to like simulate a gainer, and that's what I do for a lot of my flips. Okay, dives are really simple and actually a little bit easier than full flips. Um, you lay on your side and push off to go into a diving pose. 
So when recording, I cut the clip so it starts right after um, I'm jumping in game, which lets me click off the floor and not make it super obvious I'm in a spinning chair. My friend Dallas showed me a cool thing you can do with your dive. Um, so with you upside down while you're diving, you rotate with your thumbstick to do a spiral dive. I'll show a clip of him doing it right here. Full on Olympic style dives in real life are a really good source for uh, visually interesting dives. So I take a lot of inspiration from them. So doing all these tricks actually takes a lot of practice and uh, keeping track of your cable is really important. So I like to do one or two flips in one direction, then three in the different direction, and then one in the first direction or something like that. Just switch it up. Just um, keep track of where your cable is if you have a wired headset. Doing these tricks kind of takes a weird level of creativity, which is why it's really great that Spider-Man has decades worth of history to take from. Um, and obviously, of course, real life inspiration. So um, you could take inspiration from Miles Morales and do a curly fry. Uh, that one's actually really easy. So I don't know, figure it out yourself. Be sure to share your flips with others. It's really cool seeing everybody trying to figure out their own stuff and their own methods to work with other people. All right, I think that's about it, honestly. Um, so yeah, this is actually kind of hard, like a, an actual difficult thing to do. Um, so, you know, if you find it difficult, just keep going at it and, you know, eventually you'll get it. Um, you know, I believe you got this, man. But yeah, so full body and PC recommended. You don't need it. Honestly, you don't need it. Um, it might just be good to have an avatar with no legs. So, um, yeah, go ham. Remember, um, I didn't come up with this method just by myself. Me, Comics, IMAX, and Cade, Ty, and Dallas, we all figured it out by helping each other out. So, um, yeah, if you don't have these big extravagant setups, just figure it out for your own setup. It's, uh, it's honestly really fun just figuring out how to do things if you don't have a big extravagant setup like this. So, um, I know some people who do it on their bed and they just sit down um, horizon adjust and then just stand up and that's how they do a dive you know you can take this information and like form it into your own setup so yeah um, me and those other guys I mentioned earlier we actually have a bunch of plans for crazy videos and stuff so you know stay tuned um, I'll link their channels in the description um, th yeah they helped me with this honestly I don't think I'd be able to do all these flips and stuff if I didn't get help from them um, yeah, we have big plans for swinging videos, so if you actually can't do it, if you can't find a way to do it, just stay tuned, because you'll be able to watch us do it, um, and, you know, kind of a, kind of a little, kind of a little treat. So, yeah, I don't know, um, for real this time, see ya.